This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, one and all, this is Alex Bennett, and this is The Ramble, and it goes until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time. That's on the east coast of the United States of America, and wherever you are on this great map of our wonderful globe and this blue marble, uh, why don't you check it out and figure out what time it is where you are, and if, what time you, in the same time that it is here, I mean, you know, given the difference between the time zones, then you're listening to it live. Otherwise... It's Memorex. Okay? All right. Anyway, uh, we got a guest here tonight, and uh, we should go to him right now. And then in a half hour from right now, yes, folks, it's going to be the Citizen Panels. So get ready for that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Larry. Hey, buddy. I always like saying hello, Larry, because it reminds me of the worst television show of all time. Hello, Larry, with uh, McLean Stevenson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think <laughs> it, it, McLean Stevenson left a hit called MASH. And, uh, one of the worst decisions in TV. One of the worst decisions in TV. And then I'll, I'll go do my own show, and because I was such a success on MASH, it's, uh, it's going to be a, 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 a way to print money. So he goes over there, and 13 weeks they cancel it. May, may have canceled it sooner than that, if I'm not mistaken, but I'll, I'll give it 13 weeks. And in those days, you got at least a year, you know? Mm-hmm. It, in those days, you got like 26 episodes. And he just, boop, that was it. That was it for McLean Stevenson. And then he became a panelist on game shows. Yeah, match game. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing, you think about... Uh, Bad decisions, which uh, God knows I've made a ton, but uh, who else? Uh, Shelly, the girl left cheer, Shelly. Uh, Shelly Long. Shelly Long. Yeah. Yep. That was yep. another uh, <laughs> monster show. I think I'll leave this. <laughs> well, they think that, you know, the fame they gained off of the show can be translated into movies and things like that. And especially in those days, TV careers didn't wind uh, up as movie careers very well. I, no. If I remember anybody to really break through into movies from television, from having a um, um, a hit television show, okay, I think the earliest one I can remember is Bruce Willis. Uh, he translated that into a very good yeah, movie he, career. Definitely, yeah. And I can't even remember the show he was on. What was that? The, 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 the tech? Uh, Moonlighting. Moonlighting. That was it. You know. And and he did he did very well, but before that, if people went to TV, it was just like if you were on TV, you just didn't, you know, make it. So, but you want to know one of the biggest trivia questions I ever had? Uh, I love the trivia. Do you remember the trivia? It was name Academy Award winners who had a TV show. God, that is a great trivia question. Yeah, um, or the or easiest one. You got to know the easiest one. Maybe it's too obvious. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I can't think. You, you want a hit? Hint? Yeah. Hit. Don't, I'm still sick, folks, so don't bother me. Uh, Ernest Borgnine. Mikhail's Navy. Ernest and he, oh yeah, and Marty, yeah for, uh, Marty, Marty won the Academy Award, Best mm-hmm. Actor. How about here's one for you? You'll love this, Broderick Crawford. Uh, All the King's Men and and uh, Highway Patrol. That's it, and that was it, pretty much for uh, for his career. That's the only two things he ever did. <laughs> yeah, um, I believe. Um, Jimmy Stewart had a TV show called The Jimmy Stewart Show. Uh, they, they were like 13 or 14. I was asked this once in San Francisco, and this was like the big trivia question. Okay, here's one you wouldn't know. Jack Lemon Started Jack out with a TV Lemon. show. Started out I with a TV show. I don't recall show. him ever having a TV show. Yep. 
back, back in the maybe late 50s, early 50s, I don't know, somewhere around there, early TV. Jack Lemmon. Wow. Uh, uh, let me see here. Um, I can't think. I'm trying to think of all the others. There were tons of them, just tons of them. Um, and now today, uh, an Academy Award winner going out and having a TV show is no big deal. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jamie, Jamie. Step down to go to TV. Jamie Foxx is hosting a game show, and he won the Academy Award for the Ray Charles movie. Yeah, that's not good, is it? Well, you know, uh, today I don't think it's frowned upon. In those days, it was frowned upon. And only the big stars could actually do it. That's why Henry Fonda did it. Uh, uh, that's why James Stewart did it. He, I think Henry Fonda had a TV show as well. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to think of who, who was on that list. Man, there were some that were just, you you went, what? You know, Um but anyway, you know, and it also included Best Supporting Actress and Best Supporting Actor categories as well. Uh, and uh, just, uh, you know, in those days, you didn't go from TV to movies. You went from movies to TV, but once you did TV, movies didn't want you back. Because movies were the big art, and yeah. television was popular culture. You know, and uh, so these people ruined their careers by suddenly jumping ship and thinking they were going to have a big, uh, a big turnaround. I wish I had that list. God damn it! Uh, well, let me. I bet today. I bet it's somewhere. Hold on a second. Let me just type in on Google. Uh, a cat. Oops. Uh, I go back. I, I, I can't type anymore. Are you that way? You can't type anymore. Uh, I can still type well. I took it in high school. It was the only useful thing I learned, I think. Award winners. I still hunt and peck. Uh, that had TV shows. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, Oscar winners who star on TV shows. Uh, 15 t uh, television stars who won Academy Awards. We don't want that. Uh, list of accolades. Okay, let's go to this first one. Oscar winners who star on TV shows. Um, okay. Uh, TV stars have won Oscars. Um, okay. Uh, where, where, where is it? Photo gallery. Okay. Let's see here. Well, it's just pictures of people. It's just pictures of people. Cloris Leachman, uh, Dustin Hoffman. Oh, here, oh, here are the names. Okay, hold on a second. Let me take it from the beginning. Anna Paquin. She won Best Supporting Actress, and then she wound up on uh, for the piano, and then she wound up on True Blood. But that's not really TV. That's HBO. If I yeah. can use their their stupid slogan. Um, Jessica Lange. Uh, she won an Academy Award for Best Sporting Actress in Tootsie. Okay. Uh, Cloris Leachman, she won an Academy Award for The Last Picture Show. Picture Show. Yeah. Uh, she du was actually, she was hot when she was young. Yeah, Dustin Hoffman, he did a TV show called Luck. But again, is that a TV show? When you talk about HBO and stuff like that, that's not considered a downward trend. No, I, I would consider commercial TV, not not HBO, to be TV. Yeah. So. Here's one for you, Linda Hunt. Remember Beauty her? And the Beast. No, no, she was on. Uh, she was um, in. Uh, she won the Academy Award for the Year of Living Dangerously. Remember, she played a guy, a little midget guy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, she wound up on. Uh, uh, what what show is that? One of those procedurals. Kathy Bates. Okay, uh, she she's de definitely doing TV. She's on FX a lot with. Uh, so she won the Academy Award, of course, for Best Actress in Misery. Angelica Houston. Uh, she won the uh, Best Supporting Actress Oscar for Putsy's Honor. 
and then she did the television show Smash, Jeremy Irons, but then again, you know, he was on Showtime. Uh, yeah. Reversal of Fortune, Whoopi Goldberg. That's a downward trend. Academy Award, <laughs> Academy Award winner to on The View, but she's probably making more money on The View than she ever made in movies. Uh, Maggie Smith, Downton Abbey. That's technically a TV show. The Prime of Miss Jean Brody won uh, the Best uh, Performance Award for female. Marley Maitland. Marley Matlin, rather. Metlin. Is it Metlin? Matlin. I can't read today either. Uh, won the Academy Award Church for Children of a Lesser God. And then wound up on uh, Picket Fences and uh, a bunch of other things. Seinfeld. She was on Seinfeld. Timothy That's right. Hutt. Yeah, okay. I remember that episode. Timothy she Hutton. Was, uh, reading. We were teaching George to read lips, yeah. yeah. T- uh, Timothy Hutton, when he was 21, he won, 20, he won an Academy Award in Ordinary, Ordinary people. people. Yep. Three decades later, he's a modern-day Robin Hood on Leverage, TNT's Leverage. He's also, he also appeared on, what's that show? Oh, God, I forget the name now that we were watching. Every year it's a different cast, but it's a, it, it, it's a different story, but the same cast. Shirley MacLaine, uh, she was on season three of Downton Abbey. She won the Academy Award. Mary Steenburgen, see, these are all modern people. Mary Steenburgen. Uh, won Best Supporting Actress for uh, what? What picture? Um, uh, uh, oh, Melvin and Howard. <laughs> Boy, a forgettable award and a forgettable movie. Yeah, really. <laughs> now, here, Melissa. I saw that one. <laughs> Melissa Leo, who is a good actress, she was on Tremaine. She's. Uh, currently doing that Showtime series uh, I'm Dying Up Here. And I saw a, f- show, a movie with her the other day when she was like in her teens. And she was a, just this little minx and now she's this old broad. You know. But anyway, that's TV stars who won Oscars, but it did, did, the list didn't give you the real the real deal here. You know, which should yeah, have been... a little disappointing. Huh? Yeah. Kind of disappointing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Should have been, uh, uh, you know. Uh, when, uh, now the most uh, ten most award winning TV shows um, came the first TV show. Made in America was the first TV show to win an Oscar. Well, I don't know. And anyway, I wish I could find a list. Here, here's a list of uh, that's British Academy Awards. I don't know, but anyway, if, when you go back and you look at it. Fame did not do well for Ernest Borgnine, nor did it do well for uh, Broderick Crawford. But when I tell people that Broderick Crawford won an Academy Award, now maybe I'm talking to an audience that doesn't even know who the fuck Broderick Crawford <laughs> is. Okay, <laughs> you know something? I'm probably right. I mean, I maybe they don't even know who Ernest Borgnine was. Yeah. You know? Well, Broderick Crawford, I read, had the uh, unique ability to look at a page of dialogue and memorize it like that. Really? See, trivia about a guy nobody ever heard of today. (laughs) Only Bubbles would have trivia about a guy that we haven't heard I of. Remember, yeah, I remember watching when I was a kid uh, that Highway Patrol was on in reruns. It was old then, and it was just kind of an obnoxious character. And then the last thing he did was he played J. Edgar Hoover in a TV movie in the 70s. Really? But they play, he played <clears throat> Hoover as a pretty evil guy, so it was kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, but, you know, so uh, uh, we have... Uh, uh, a list there, but, but the list was longer and more interesting, especially when I first did it back in I don't know the you know the eighties. Um, it was more difficult because you didn't have TV people going over to movies, uh, and so to have people like on that list like Jack <laughs> Lemon was amazing because he did have a show called the Jack Lemon Show. Uh, wow! I- yeah. Look that one up. Um, 
But I'm thinking, I'm trying to think. There were some people on that list that were just phenomenal. Some of them were women, uh, and and you just went, wow. They they were on TV and they went on to win an Academy Award. Uh, but that was the, the the big serious trivia question that nobody could seem to answer. I wish I had uh, I wish I had a list. Well, let me look up Academy Award winners. You should start calling our segment of the show uh, uh, let's see oh, Academy Award winner Academy Award winner uh, Academy Award winners okay here we go uh, <clears throat> okay Oscar winners 2017 no we don't want the list of Academy Award of winning films no we don't want that uh, best Picture Oscars, Academy Award Oscars for Best Picture winners No, I don't want that Why they? Oscar, Complete list of Oscar winners and nominees from 2017 What? There's nobody that's got a list of okay, Oscar winners Best Actor Okay Here, here we go uh, Oh, somebody's calling me Fuck that, what is that? Roderick Crawford. Uh, when I leave, okay, in one hour, okay. Anyway, it was probably it's probably some what do you call it? Caller. The best actor. Okay, here we go. Best actor winners by age. Oh well, let's just look at this. It could be interesting. Anyway, do you know the oldest guy was to ever win an Academy Award? Wait a minute. No, excuse me. Okay. No, no, it goes by just goes by ages, not by uh, one. Let's see here. Uh, age upon receiving. No, that, uh, that 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 would not make it as. Uh, okay, well, anyway, uh, let's see. Emil Jennings did not win. He did not have a TV show. <laughs> let's see here. Neither the Warner Baxter, George Arliss. Lionel Barrymore. Here are people that won Academy Awards. Wallace Berry. None of the people <laughs> listening to us at this moment know who Emil Jennings is. Oh, I can name an old timer with the uh, Walter Brennan. Yeah, but uh, Wallace Berry, Frederick March. Do you remember all these people? You must. I've heard the names. Yeah. yeah. Charles Lawton, Clark Gable, Victor McLaughlin, Paul Muni, Spencer Tracy, now James Stewart. He won Academy Award. He had a TV show called The Jimmy Stewart Show on NBC. I didn't know he had a show. That's yeah, wild. I think, it, I think it even ran like two seasons, maybe. Uh, let's see here. Paul Lucas, Bing Crosby. Well, Bing Crosby was a multi-media uh, star. And he started, started on radio and went to movies. And then later on went to television, so that would be a, a number two. Okay, here's one for you. The movie was Lost Weekend. Ray, Ray Milland. Milland. What was his TV show? Uh, wow, that I don't know. Meet Mr. McNutley, which was later in the second season, changed to Meet Mr. McNulty, because everybody <laughs> read it as McNulty <laughs> instead of McNutley. <laughs> That is a good trivia. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see, Ron. Coleman didn't have a TV show. Lawrence Olivier never had a TV show. Yeah, you remember the Larry Olivier Comedy Hour? Yeah. Uh, okay, here we go. Bro Broderick Crawford. Got to be. Jose Ferrer, Humphrey Bogart, Gary Cooper, William Holden. None of these people had TV shows. Marlon Brando. Yeah, there's a Marlon Brando Comedy Hour. Uh, Ernest Borgnine. Okay. Yul Brynner, Alec Guinness, David Niven. Did David Niven have a TV show? I Not that I recall. I believe that he did. I th he, he was like one of... They used to have a show, I think, where they had like four stars on the show, and every week one of them would do the show as a drama. And one of them was David Niven, I believe. Charlton Heston, no. Burt Lancaster, no. Maximilian Schell, no. Gregory Peck, no. Sidney Poitier, no. Rex Harrison, no. Lee Marvin, did Lee Marvin wind up having a TV show? I don't think so. Okay. 
Paul Schofield, Rod Steiger, Cliff Robertson, John Wayne, George C. Scott, Gene Hackman, no, Marlon Brando again. George C. Scott had a show. Did he? Yes. East Side, he, West Side. He had a show called East Side, West Side. You're absolutely correct. And who was the black female star on that film, the show? Uh, I know it. Uh, um, I can't remember her name. Cicely Tyson. Cicely Tyson. They they were like they were social workers. Yeah, and she was his assistant or whatever. You know, since blacks couldn't play the lead. Then of course we got Jack Lemmon. I said he had a TV show. Art Carney won an Academy Award, and he was. We all know he was on TV. Jack Nicholson, I don't think ever did TV. Neither did Peter Finch. Richard Dreyfuss, did he ever do TV? I don't think so. John Voight is now doing TV, if you count Ray Donovan. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, TV, did a lot. Henry Fonda on Golden Pond, uh, but he had a TV show called The Henry Fonda Show. Uh, ben Kingsley, Robert Duvall, F. Murray Abraham. Is he on TV ever? Hmm. William Hurt, Paul Newman, Michael Douglas, Dustin Hoffman again. He won two Academy Awards. Or, yeah. He won one in, then uh, I just mentioned Dustin Hoffman, yeah, for Kramer vs. Kramer, and then Rain Man. Daniel Day-Lewis, Jeremy Irons, Anthony Hopkins, Al Pacino, Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks, two in a row for Tom Hanks. Nicholas Cage, Jeffrey Rush, Nick Jack Nicholson, Robert Benigno, Robert Benigno, well, anyway. Uh, oh, the, how about uh, Ellen Burstyn? Uh, well, we haven't. We didn't get to best uh, supporting actress. You know that would that would be a whole different can of worms. Uh, oh, she was supporting. Okay. Yeah. Um, best actor when we found. Uh, uh, I don't Oscar winners list. Uh, best actor Oscar. Uh, well, anyway. I, I don't. They, they don't list the women here, which is a pain in the ass. List of Academy Award winning films. Okay. Well, anyway, that wasted all our time, didn't it? Uh, I let, I love that stuff. <laughs> I know. I love that stuff too. Um, but now here's what I say to people, and and you know it, it's Academy Award night. Everybody goes. I'm staying home. I gotta watch the Academy Awards. All right. Mm -hmm. And they all go home and they watch the Academy Awards. And the next day, everybody's talking about, do you think such and such should have won, blah, 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 blah. And then three months later, if you ask any of those people what won the Academy Award for Best Picture, they can't tell you. Right. Like, what won last year? I wouldn't know last year. Moonlight. I can hear a... a a, a, a group of people out there going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Most forgettable movie ever to win an Academy Award, in my opinion. They picked a few in the past few years that, uh, yeah, were totally forgettable. Well, that would not have, will not be memorable. I'll give you a good example of this sort of thing. Years ago, there was the Academy Awards, and up for Best Picture were several films, and the one that won was Ordinary People. The most successfully critical film of that era, which I think was, what, the 80s? Uh, that was 1980, 1980. Yeah, didn't win. What picture was that? Of 1980 with, let's see, Raging Bull? Absolutely right. Raging, wow, I got it right. Raging Bull lost to ordinary people. Now, can you... Anybody out there listening to me, can you imagine Raging Bull losing the Academy Award for Best Picture? Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, it was it was easily the most critically acclaimed picture of the 80s. Uh, and at the end of the 80s, when they list the best films of the 80s, Raging Bull was always on the top. And yet it did not win an Academy Award. The other one, directed by Robert Redford. Uh, one and I think a lot of it was because they wanted to give an Academy Award to Robert Redford. Yeah. You know, but it wasn't that good. A, you know, I never. I I think I've gotten through five minutes of that film before falling asleep. 
That's what I remember. <laughs> it was a dozer, yeah. You know. And but 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 and I didn't remember that Timothy Hutton won an Academy Award for that picture. And Mary Tyler Moore was in it. In fact, I don't even think De Niro, De Niro didn't win for Raging Bull, did he? He, he, uh, he won for the women. I don't he won, think so. He won for The Godfather. We saw that. Um, who did uh, who won Best Actor in that year? In 1970, oops, well, now I'll have to go 80. back. Here it could go. be 80. Wait a minute, best, uh, uh, oh, but that's, oh, Oscar winner's best actress. Well, we can get to that next week. Uh, let's see, best actor, okay. Um, come on, just give me, uh, I don't want to see a complete list. Uh, no, I don't want that either, actor in a leading role. Here's a complete list, and I want Oscars for all the people that ever won. I can't find it. They want to keep giving you 2017, which was just a horrible year. It was a lame year. That's it. We're through. That's all she wrote. Larry, want to come back? (laughs) Want to come back next week? I'll come back. I hope we have some more trivia because I love this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles Brown. Ah. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. And it is time now for the uh, talk portion of our program. Thank you to Larry Bubbles Brown. I always have a nice conversation with Larry. He's a smart guy. He knows a lot of stuff. Uh, I know a lot of stuff. So we banter banter back and forth and we have a good time with him. So we thank you for that. Uh, I am going to open the lines here. These are these famous GabNet Skype lines, uh, which is, if you want to call us on Skype, uh, the best way to do it, our ID is um, Gabnet, uh, Gabnet Live. Isn't that it? Yeah, that's it. Gabnet Live. And uh, you just type that in to uh, add contacts. And uh, I think, in, in many ways, it should let you just directly call it. But if not, it will say, do you want to make us a friend? Uh, do we want you to make uh, us to make you a contact? And I will see that come up here, and I will uh, do that immediately so you can then call. We always enjoy new callers to the program anytime we can get them. If my voice is sounding a little hoarse today, I still feel like crap. Now, not only the cold is bothering me, but a, ba- a tooth as well, which I've had a problem with for a long time. And it, it uh, seems to be uh, kind of getting, getting sensitive. Oh, well. I give up. I'm falling apart, folks. I'm gonna soon. I'm gonna be toothless, okay? And that would be nice. I had an ex-girlfriend of mine, uh, who I think may, maybe listens to the show every now and then, uh, who said to me that she would never love me if I lost my teeth. So if I lose one tooth, would that be enough to throw her out of somebody's uh, category of being worthy of her love? So I always worked on keeping my teeth, and I have. Well, technically, I have two of them gone, but they I have implants, so you can't tell, see? I always hate it when, I always notice when people on TV, or uh, women in porn films, <laughs> when they have just, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, they're missing teeth. It, it just bothers me for some god-awful reason, it uh, really... Uh, Makes me uh, makes me queasy. So, uh, you know, I see you see them. Um, you know, think of them as a toothless whore. <laughs> you think of them as. Anyway, is anybody going to call tonight? Oh, yeah, I opened up the lines. Well, you know, Phil, I know you're out there tonight. Isn't the night that's a Phil free night? Tomorrow is. Friday is. Uh, and um, uh, let's see here. We, we've got a bunch of other regular people that call, so uh, uh, it's time for you to start calling. Sometimes they don't think I really get finished with my interviews till about 25 of, so they don't really, really start listening to the program at that point. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm not sure how to put this, but are you the Alex Bennett I used to listen to in San Francisco? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, yeah, let, me, let me put this down here because he probably doesn't hear me here. Yes, I, oops, I am. Okay, there we go. All right, okay, all right. 
So I, I, I let him know. Uh, uh, Stacy Lininger says, Alex, I would like to interview you. Assuming there's anyone out there listening to you, uh, then uh, Phil Wong, I believe you are right. How can I make him stop? What is this? So, it's Alex Bennett. Get a day job immediately. That all was from Stacy Lininger. Who the hell is Stacy Lininger? And is anybody going to call this program tonight, or am I going to sit here all by myself talking? We've got the. Uh, by the way, we've got the uh, the Facebook Live working tonight. It seems Facebook decided to fix their problem. And all of a sudden, I can now do it the old way and get it on the, uh, the thing here, the Gesorchner. But uh, anyway, so, uh, uh, you, you know, you might give us a call if you want to. By the way, as long as I'm not doing anything here, it says share. I could share the video with uh, Facebook, uh, let's see, a timeline I own. I manage, and that would be uh, Gabnet. Uh, let's see here. Go from uh, Alex Bennett. Wait a minute. What is? Oh, I don't know what this is here. Uh, to Gabnet Live. Okay. Okay. Gabnet Live. Posting is Gabnet Live, but I want to post as Alex Bennett. But I can't. Oh well. Alex Bennett. No. Oh, I see. Post. Oh, okay. Alex Bennett posting as Alex Bennett, and then I want to put it on Gabnet Live, and there we go. Uh, we're posting it to Gabnet Live. So if you go over to Gabnet Live, you can see a big picture representation of uh, what we're doing here. Let me see here. Well, is it going on over there? Let me see. I, I'm, I have nothing else to do. Uh, oh, it isn't. It isn't going. It didn't go. Huh. That's interesting. I thought it would go over here, but it didn't. And, uh, huh, well, I tried. Okay. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I share. I tried to share it, but I wasn't able to share it. Is anybody going to call? Or I'll give it another two minutes and I'm signing off. Okay? Um, usually every night by this time, people are calling like crazy. My lines are open. We seem to be okay. Somebody send me an email or something if we're not. Oh, there we go. There's Phil. Well, first there's Mike, and then there's Phil. Okay, now we got both of them. There's Phil. Hey, and, and it's and it's not that I don't listen to the first half hour. John Travolta. What? He, he, uh, he, John Travolta was a movie act, is now a movie actor, but he started in television and Welcome Back Cotter. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's one uh -huh. for you. Did uh, he ever win an Academy Award? You know, I don't know. No, he never did. Oh. And that was uh, the trivia question. Oh, okay. I give well, you one that I, I forgot I, to I, one I forgot well, to mention. Frank Sinatra. Did he win an Academy for Award? for Best Supporting Actor for From Here uh, to Eternity? Absolutely. Well, we, I thought the conversation was. Actors don't do well going from television to movies. No, but, they, but the trivia question was, name actors who have won Academy Awards who had TV shows. I missed that part. All right. Well, you see, you didn't listen to the whole interview. Well, I, I did listen, but, I, you know, at, at 25 after, I, I got rid of the Keurig. The Keurig died. Your Keurig so, died? Mine's uh, yeah. still working okay. Yeah, well... The one at the store works okay, but the one at the house, the Cuisinart, yeah. died. So uh, Faye said, no more Keurigs. She doesn't like them. The tooth hurts. So, oh, yeah. Well, uh, it doesn't hurt. I'm just trying to see if it's hurting. Uh, so now I bought this drip-style coffee maker from Italy. Yeah. And uh, it takes six minutes to do a pot. And, um, you know, if you start at 25 after, it's not enough time to get the coffee and get in here when you open up the lines. <laughs> so, oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but with a curry, let's see, it takes about two minutes for it to warm up the water. And uh, then it takes it about another yeah. two minutes to brew it. So well, you're almost there. I, I would leave it on uh, most of the day. So it, it, I and I had it set the curry to turn on in the morning before I what's got it up. not doing. Maybe I can fix your curry for you. Uh, we took it back. They gave us the money. Uh, it was uh, not 
pushing any water out. So you 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 push the thing down, uh, and you get like a little trickle of water, kind of the well, way. Well, it's it trying is to me. imitate you. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was me peeing. So there was a little trickle of brown water, and that was it. And uh, after I went through about five pods, I realized it wasn't going to get any better. Hmm. So uh, it, it probably needed it probably the nozzle needed cleaning. Could be. That's all you have to do is go up there with a, uh, oh, I don't know, something and just yeah. kind of clean out the nozzle. Well, uh, it didn't That's happen. also what they're going to do with you soon. Yeah, right. <laughs> In more ways than one. Right. You know, here comes, here, here comes uh, 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 Rob Alfano. Uh, he's going to oh, join the, hey there, Rob. the crew. Hello, Rob. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, interesting discussion about coffee makers. Yeah, well, I, 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 what kind of coffee maker do you have? Uh, uh, I'd have to look it or, up. Or don't, I, are, I do aren't a you lot the of research. Yeah, me too. Before I, I got, bought the coffee maker, the one thing that I wanted to do was to find a coffee maker that will heat the water to 150 degrees. Uh -huh. If you don't do that, you really don't get the best out of your beans you know and that then i there, bought a bird grinder there is a coffee maker okay. standard uh that uh, certain coffee makers have to meet for uh heating it up to a certain temperature so i bought this one called the bonavita uh, that's the one i have the 19th that's the, that's the one i have the okay, bonavita that's the one i got yeah and uh so far so good i love I, it i got the steel pot uh, because it said that it kept it warmer longer, and, and it does like for about two. Or, uh, Faye doesn't like it either, but I, I don't I, like it because I don't like it because it 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 you, you put it in the dishwasher, and it the the pot itself holds water. Ah, yeah, it, a little like, bit. Feel, I don't like it. I, I'd rather have a, a regular carafe because I don't leave coffee in a pot anyway. But I love the coffee maker. The maker, yeah. the coffee maker itself is outstanding what's it called what's it called again what's it called again bona vita 1900 is the model I got. you have to you grind the it. beans and do that whole you got, deal. yeah you, got you don't it. have to you, you don't have yeah. to grind the beans. you buy them you could, if you want you buy, it, buy it ground it's I just grind. really what heats the the it has a, a spray head on top right. so instead of the water coming out in like one thing there's like a shower head where the water comes out on a whole bunch of all over the, the coffee and, so and and above the carafe is a is a thing you put a filter and it, and it, and it drips down just like those single ones that they do at the real high end coffee uh, uh, places. They opened up across the street from me a Phil's Coffee, P H I L Z. Unbelievable! This is so good. They have a Turkish coffee. They put a sprig of mint in it. It is oh, it is unbelievable. You're just prejudiced it started, because oh, it sounds oh, oh. like your name. Yeah, well, I like that too. But the coffee is the best. People line up like zombies. Uh, uh, it makes Pete. It puts Pete's and Starbucks to shame. What, what's hmm. what's the what, what's the name of that uh, brewer brewing thing? Uh, Bona Vita nineteen hundred. Bona Vita. Yeah. Bona Vita. Bona Vita. Nineteen uh, hundred S. I, I'm not sure. I, it might be a T. I, I think. Uh, I think what it is. One of them. The, the last numbers. It, 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 yeah, it kind of looks. Not, it ki it kind of looks like it has. Uh, it's like looks. Like, it's like two <coughs> sections, right? It's like the carafe, and then next to it is the brewing part of it. Right. right. Correct. It is only one hundred and twenty-six dollars for the nineteen hundred TS. Which I paid 134. 134. Uh, uh, well, you didn't, yeah. you didn't go to the lovely and attractive Amazon like I just did. Yeah, I did, and I and I spent an extra 20 bucks for the Square Trade uh, whatever it is uh, warranty because some people in the reviews said that after the warranty period was up, which is two years, mm -hmm. that it died. So mine mine is uh, since 2012. But you can't make a small. Carafe, right? You, you can't, can make, you can't uh, make, make a half a pot. Yeah, you can make four cups. Yeah, but pot. you see, I only want one cup at a time. Nobody else well, in this house. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I make. I, you see that cup you have? Yeah, I make a cup that's cups. about that size, and that's what I make every morning. And I make some for for my wife. Yeah. yeah. Well, Marjorie doesn't drink coffee here. She has to go to Starbucks. 
the the well, four cups, Starbucks, so. the four cups is two of those. Oh, yes. You know, because I, what they consider a cup and what I consider a cup is two different right. stories. Right, right. Yeah. But uh, if 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 she has to go to Starbucks, which I have to do now, I buy Starbucks and I brew it here. And you would never know that you're not having it at Starbucks. Well, she, I can't convince her of that, though. Hello, Patrick. Hello. Um, um, That's because she's never had coffee from a homemaker that gets you to 150 degrees to heat the water. Is it 150 That's or 195? Uh, maybe it's 195. I know You can't get 150 uh, out of a Keurig? Uh, no, you can. The, the Keurig's 192. It's 195. That's right. It's between yeah. 195 and 205. Oh, the yeah. optimal brewing. Yeah, but you, hold on a second. I'll get to you in a second, Mike. But, but the girlfriend, been years girlfriend will research. not. I I have all kinds of Starbucks here, and she will not try them. No, well, because the 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 Keurig is is. Uh, I get it's, an idea. It's nice, uh, because it's convenient. Yeah. But it's not going to make the best. Okay, cup okay. Jeff, Jeff had his hand up first, and then uh -huh. Mike had his hand up. Go ahead, Jeff. Why don't you have Marjorie just deliver the coffee when you when you're uh, ready? When That's I'm right. ready? Oh, you mean uh, yeah, yeah. I can well, when she on. goes, she goes at five o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. She's knocking on their door. Are does you open ever, yet? Does she, does she ever bring home one of the Starbucks? It's grandma's cups? coffee pot. She, I, no, she she occasionally has brought me back on a weekend when she goes up there a little later. Uh, she brings me back a cup of Starbucks. Okay, you stay. You save the paper cup. Yeah. You yep. brew up one of your things in the curry. You say, you look what I got you at the store. store. Yeah. And say, what do you think? You can <laughs> yeah. tell the difference. You just drank curry Starbucks. Yeah. You can tell the difference. I think you're going to tell the difference between yeah. curry and Starbucks. Yeah. And yeah. She, she, she liked a certain kind of Starbucks, so I went out and I bought that kind of Starbucks. Yeah. You know. And I've had a bunch of different beans. I, I have the French roast now, but yeah. I've had uh, the Sumatra. I tried different ones. Um, I love it. I love the coffee maker. I have a really nice burr grinder. Now, that's called so the what? The one you have? Bill's Coffee. That's the Bonavita. The Bonavita. Okay, well, I mean, if, if I just like the fact that I'm the only one that drinks coffee in the house, and it makes up one cup very easily, and I don't have to, you know, overbrew. You know? I can make I a carafe. I have. They gave me some big ones when I bought it and a carafe. Yes. Yeah, you, my brother has the same one you do. Yeah. With the carafe. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, how old? How old? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. How old was your was your uh, 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 Keurig? The one that died? Yeah. Um, less than uh, around two years. Yeah, that's what I. Is it one of the newer two, ones? Two years. Is, it, it, it was uh, uh, finally I gave up on the actual Keurig brand and I got the uh, Cuisinart one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You remember we you, had that was the one you said. Oh, it's so much better than the Keurig, and it, it just it was the Keurig would last six months. This lasted two years. Well, the, no, my Keurig, the latest Keurig I got, I I took it back to Costco. I took one back uh, two years, three years after I bought it, and they gave me a new. I, they gave me the money back, and then I went and got a new one, which was cheaper than the one I had bought. Or no, it was a little more expensive than the one I had bought. Uh, that yeah. was something else that I made money on uh, when I brought it back. And uh, but I got the new one, and the new one seems to be working perfectly, just perfect. Well, the uh, we we brought back, or Faye brought back the uh, Cuisinart. They gave us 180 bucks. Uh, I spent 134 dollars on on this thing, and uh, she got a new uh, bed uh, thing for the uh, the new bed that uh, that I bought. A new bed thing for the new bed. What kind of bed okay. did you buy? Uh, a Merisleep uh, uh, memory foam. Uh, mattress. Oh, when you remember your dreams? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it remembers all the times you fucked on it. Well, uh, yes, Mike. Me. Mike had his hand up. I have to go to Mike. Mike. Now, Rob, do you ever make uh, fresh coffee? I oh, don't French, have a fresh French coffee. coffee. Marjorie French makes that. Mar 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 Marjorie makes that. Oh, really? yeah. When she, yeah, so when she makes good. coffee here, she does. She has a press. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. like press. press. I like press coffee. I have press. I have uh, two presses. I got the big one and the small one. But you know, it's cheaper to buy your coffee at instead of uh, Starbucks. Buy at Costco. That's where I buy it. Costco coffee's pretty good. No, they no, no. The Starbucks one. coffee. They Starbucks big coffee. Bags. They get two the huge bags. bags. Yeah, for what twenty bucks? Well, Costco. Yeah, they got up in price though. 
used to have a French roast called San Francisco SF Bay or San Francisco Bay Coffee, and it was delicious. But they don't have it anymore. Now they just got Kirkland's. Probably the same thing. You don't you don't go bad. You don't go bad when you buy Kirkland's because Kirkland is made usually by the brand that's sitting right next to it. Yeah. You know, when you buy tuna yeah. at uh, at Costco, you're probably buying Starkist. But yeah. the Starkist canned it for them, and they told them, we want it better than your tuna. Well, now that I've had Phil's coffee yeah. uh, with the Z, yeah. I don't, I don't even want the, the stuff at home. I mean, I do I do it because it's convenient and it's here, but it's like, the Phil's uh, is is absolutely the best I've ever Imagine had. they start franchising his name. That no, they got funny. a franchise. Uh, they, they do? started in Palo Alto, oh, wow. and... Uh, it's the most popular coffee in the Bay Area, and this is the first one over Better here. Better than Pete's Coffee when I was there. Oh, Pete's. Yeah. Pete's. I didn't like Pete's, Pete's coffee. coffee. I liked it. Yeah. I found it. It's strong, Pete's. I didn't find it strong. Yeah. I like the have you noticed, Yes, Mike. Have you noticed, Bill? Have you noticed, Bill, with Pete's Coffee, the beans taste burned? Sometimes. Uh, you always burn the beans somehow. It uh, tastes bitter. For some reason, yeah, it's the way they roast them, I guess. But uh, it's it's a much stronger, full-bodied coffee than the Starbucks. And uh, and and I used to be accustomed to Starbucks, and then uh, I started drinking Pete's for one reason or another. And then when I went back to Starbucks, it tasted like hot water. Really? See, and I, I didn't find it that way. It's interesting. Yeah, I uh, yeah, they I, have, they I, have I, fills I actually in BC I, right here. I, they I do. Have to check it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. got to have fills. That's unbelievable. I have I have Pete's coffee in the you know in the K cups that I use a yeah. lot. Uh, Mr. Dickinson's uh, blend. Or yeah, whatever. Major Dickinson. Oh, Major Dickinson's blend. I like. The I French really like Christmas. it. I was drinking a lot here. Now I'm all I'm doing here is tea. Yeah. Because if I, uh, I if I drink coffee right now. I'm up till five in the morning, you know. So. Yeah, I stay up late. Oh, oh, I got to ask Rob this: How many scoops do you put in your Bonavita for a full pot of beef? I me I measure it. I have a scale, yeah. and I put forty grams of of beans into the 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 Grind. into the pot, and then I use I, I I fill the coffee with the water to between four and five cups on the side. That's how I do it. Okay, I, I'm going to have to uh, because um, it's either too strong or not strong enough. You yeah, know? you got to get if you Google it. I use 40 grams. This is because that was the number that I found. I researched. I do this with everything. Day, I get crazy in the day. Alex could snort 40 grams. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know you can buy Phil's coffee online and have it sent to you. Well, I get it across the street. It's but I'm going to have to do that because it's 30 ABC. bucks a pound, though, or something. No, 14, 14, 14 bucks. 14 bucks, bucks a pound. A pound? Oh. Yeah. You I can buy whole bean. Yeah. Right. Oh, I'm going to get a. I'm going to get it. Oh, see that? Best. No, uh, I, I, yeah, do they have the Turkish? They have, let's see, uh, get a bag of Silken Splendor for 14 bucks. I never had that one, but I'm uh, sure it's good. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a car. I'm gonna get one. All right, whole beans. Now, yeah, you like now, it. the secret of uh, good pressed coffee is you put your coffee in, then you add your water, and then you put your top, you press down, atop the lid. Let it sit there for about two three minutes, then you press it down. You know, it's it's funny. The taste is good. I don't know how much guy I, I use about. I forget how much. I don't use that much coffee, but it tastes really good, like a good pressed coffee should. Well, you know, I just follow, I just follow the rules for you know how to make good pressed coffee. Stir it, and then you put the lid on, let it sit. And after you let it sit, then you press it down. Yeah, man, that's good coffee. It is coffee. So they got the Turkish here, tantalizing Turkish. It's eighteen bucks a pound. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on a, is this Amazon? No, it's their website. Oh, it's their website. Uh, when they serve it to you uh, for six and a half bucks a cup, uh, they what? the what? Large, six and a half bucks. The small was three and a half bucks. Whoa! And that's not even a special coffee. And uh, no, this is pretty special. And then they put a sprig of uh, mint leaf in the cup, uh, and I had them put a little bit of milk and or half and half and and some stevia. 
And uh, oh, that's it was so good. It was like it was better than candy. So the Turkish, it's uh, they say the it's aromas of turkey coffee, cardamom, herbs, and tobacco. Those are the er, that's the aromas. Yeah, I don't know uh, that I would like a dark dark that much. You know, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> I like French roast, French or French Italian French roast for good. Starbucks. I like that too. Yeah. Oh, I like Italian espresso. And well, I'm not crazy about that. We haven't, heard, we, haven't heard a word, we haven't heard a word from uh, <laughs> from Patrick on this. Do you drink coffee, Patrick? Oh, here. Oh, okay. <laughs> do. Silly of me. When I'm on here. Silly of me for for me asking. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I like that growth. I like Columbia if I want something a little bit lighter. Uh, French for dark. Uh, I like Italian roast. Um, I I like a very strong coffee in the morning, and like now I'm drinking Columbia. It's a little bit lighter. Um, Tastes and, earthy. What that? Doesn't Colombian taste kind of earthy? Yeah, yeah, it does. And and it 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 like a good strong tea for me is what it is. And I love tea as well. But you have uh, Cuban coffee. Say, yes. Cuban coffee. Now that's coffee. <laughs> it is a little demi tasse. Uh, I used to get, I used to get and, that every day on the work, uh, going to work in uh, Miami, and Mike. it was the only thing good about Miami. Yes, yeah. Mike. Uh, some cigar uh, co uh, company makes cigars here in Sacramento, Phil. Mm -hmm. the, old, the old man there says, You like to have a cup of uh, Cuban coffee? I go, Sure. By God, Phil, you're right. That is good, strong coffee. Yeah, you hey, drink, don't want to your top of your head off. They only give you that much. They that's all you need. Should show people. <laughs> that's all you need to blow your top of your head off. I mean, it's that strong. It, it, it's about yay big. Yeah, it's yeah. A, what they call a demi tasse or a small. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I don't know why it has that little handle there because you can't get your finger through it. It's like a guinea pig. Yeah, it was like, yeah. like espresso. Uh, it's stronger than espresso. Yeah, it's stronger. And 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 they have one that you can buy out here. It's called Cafe Bustamento, I think. Uh, it's uh, it's not the beans. It's already ground. It's in a like a yellow can, and I believe that that's what they use in Miami. This Cafe Bustamento. But um, I tell you, the the Phil's coffee. If you can get the um, the ratio right, and I know that they must over at Phil's, uh, because they've got it perfected, um, it is, uh, it, it's just delicious. Well, I ain't going to no coffee shop because I invested in my curry and God damn it, I'm going to get my money's worth out of paying an exceedingly amount, large amount of money for one little cup of coffee. Well, you can take on the Keurig, you can uh, grind stuff. You, you know what you, what you got me thing. into, what you got me into, and every now and then I keep, I keep a little bag of it aside is yeah. death wish coffee oh you, you still get that could you open oh. up the death wish coffee and it has been freshly packed and you can smell it yeah and you yeah. keep it in this hermetically sealed bag so it doesn't lose that fresh i i didn't think it was that much better uh, you know, that it, i didn't think the death wish lived up to the hype well i i think <laughs> I, I think the name implies something it can't deliver yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's expensive, uh, though, but, isn't but, it? Uh, no, Death it's Wish. It's, it's a little more. But. It isn't that bad. I think 10 cups for 15 bucks or something, 10K yeah. cups. And, I mean, I appreciate the fact it comes in a different kind of K-cup, though. It, it isn't the one that pokes a hole in the bottom. Yeah. It, it has aer aerated sides. So yeah. the coffee, go the water goes through the actual brew on yeah. either side it's of fresh. it. fresh. And it's and fresh. And they're marketing good. Huh? Their marketing is good. Their marketing good. is great, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it. I brought some out to Fire Island, and everybody said, oh, you have, you're having some coffee, you brought your own coffee? I said, yeah, I do this Death Wish coffee. And then they said, can we have some? So everybody had one. Yeah. And uh, they all said, this is the best coffee I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm going to have to wait to order this, it seems like. Why is that? They, they well, closed at six? No, because I'm going to be moving. Yeah. And I'm not sure how long it'll take to ship. So I've kind of cut myself off from, unless they would ship it 
you know, like Amazon I'll still order from because it's here in two days. But yeah, if it know. takes a week, it's going to get lost and I won't be here. Yeah. And Are you, by the way, are you going to, are you getting Fios over at that new place, right? Yeah, it's getting installed well, next Tuesday. We'll get the high speed, are you getting the high speed modem? Not your speed, no. I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't pay that kind of money every month. I just don't. Well, you I don't have, it's, they have it as part of a package, actually. <laughs> So the only thing I'm getting from Vari from FiOS is is uh, is the internet. I'm not getting TV or phone. Because you're gonna what? Cut the cord. I'm gonna have my Direct TV set up again. Oh, oh okay. All right. Just, just... Because that gives me that gives me New York City uh, TV, so I can watch the baseball games without having to pay for a subscription. Okay. All right. But the uh, I gotta tell you, uh, uh, I uh, really like. Fios overall, I think it's been. Oh yeah, really it's, it's, it was great. It's, it got expensive. It, yep. That's why I left it. Uh, Fios, you mean? Yeah, eventually, and then they told me there's nothing they could do. I said, well, I want to lower it. So then they said, okay, you can lower it this way, and I'm like, well, if I'm going to lower it that much, meaning now I'm going to be still, I'm going to save twenty five dollars a month, but now none of the channels I want to watch are going to be there. So what good is it? What did he? What, and that was what, the. What did they want to raise it from to? Well, it, it had gone up to, uh, let's see, it had gone up to near two hundred bucks. Yeah, but what was and it? And I was what, like, what had it been when you started? Oh, when I first started, it was like a hundred and a quarter, or something like that. And I just got to the point where what, I said, I don't what? want to spend this much money uh, well, every how, month how for long, television. How long did you have it? For it to go up that that fast, uh, I don't remember. Uh, probably four years. Okay, I can see that then. Uh, About four years, and, yeah. and then they, you know, you always call and say, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit," and they say, "Why?" And you say, "Well, because you're too expensive." And they say, "Well, let's see what we can do." Well, they stopped doing that, and then when I said I'm gonna quit, they were like, "Okay." <laughs> Goodbye. All right, then. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to go to direct. Well, TV you and... know, I expect that after two years, because I've got all these little bonuses and shit like that, that my bill will probably go up by about forty dollars. I would say. Uh, mm -hmm. They told me next That's... year my bill. Will... What was that? I don't know. Uh, go up by five by five dollars. That's all. And they said in the set in the third year it was something like only about fifteen or twenty dollars. So I can I can live with that, you know. I don't kid myself. I know Directv is going to go up too. The difference is it gives me things that I can save money, right? Because I don't need to spend all the money on the baseball package. There's a buffer there that okay, so it's going to cost me more, but I get to watch the games and the pregame show and all the stuff I like to watch, right? As if I was yeah. living in New York, right. Right. So you so, got like New York with you, like it's pretty cool. Yeah, I've got uh, you know all the local stations, Channel Two, Channel Four, Five, Seven, Nine, Eleven, all of the local stations, just like I was there. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Directv is nice. I like this. I like their guy too better than. Is your like really a satellite? Is nice. or is it? Uh, I heard. I heard. Is it, heard uh, just kind of like a, you plug it in? Well, I'd heard. No, it's a satellite. I heard. Satellite. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Directv, which is now owned by AT and T, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Yes. But that at one point in the beginning, when FiOS was putting on cable programming, that they were using Directv to supply it to. Yeah. What is that noise? I think Brian, uh, we're hearing Brian. 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 Yeah. Turn off your mic, will you? There's some horrible noise coming out of there. Wow. Ooh. What I was like being at a 3D movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. I got one of those too. A little tangled. Yeah. I got one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Espresso uh, uh, stovetop espresso maker. Yeah. Yeah. For my sister, that's use uh, carbon uh, yeah. carbon yeah. gears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's over the motor parts. <laughs> Makes a great cup of coffee, though. It does. But boy, you gotta watch it, though. Whew. Yep, you gotta watch it. <laughs> well, oh, Jeff, uh, you can go right to sleep later. Jeff's gonna say something finally. Yes. <laughs> I, I I have not had coffee in three months. No. Why? Ah, and it, it was your heart. Not on my, the doctor's. Your heart. Yeah. Ah. 
Oh, really? Wow. And it, it's not my heart so much. I think it's the medication yeah. are somehow affected by the coffee. So I figured, okay, I guess I got to do that. They'd have to medicate me if I didn't have coffee. Well, <laughs> I think if you're retired, it would be easier because, you, you know. Well, that's true. I find that on the weekends, I'm not as manic about having my coffee in the morning as I am when I'm working. Yeah, I oh, get I a addicted with, you know, 10 cups of coffee yeah. a week I, or a I day. A 5 a.m., I, the first thing I want is a cup of coffee, turn on the news, uh, sit there and veg out for about a half hour, and then uh, then I start getting ready for the day. Right, right. And I'm glad. I'm lucky. I don't. I don't have to leave the house usually. All well, tomorrow I have to. But uh, normally I just get up, brew the pot, sit down at the desk, log into the computer, and start looking at some email. And then before I know it, coffee is brewed, and so you I can have, wake up. You have Alex's life. That's nice. yeah, well, I work. <laughs> I work. Well, true. Alex is working too. Yeah. What? I just get paid for it. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. were you talking about me while I was gone? Because I went off yeah, to get my, yeah. I went off to get my and, and, tea. And it's all true. <laughs> I, I went on, I went, on, I went off to go get my tea. I'm sorry. Uh, but well, you'll I, hear it in the reruns. Uh, I, uh, oh, really? <laughs> and, what, and what were you saying well, about Rob, me? Rob was saying that uh, he doesn't leave the house. He he has his coffee in the morning, <laughs> and you know he spends his day at the house, and he works out of the house. And I said, oh, you got Alex's life. <laughs> Yes, he, uh, he he stole my identity. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, how many of you think you got your identity Equifax. stolen by Equifax? All of us. Nobody wants well, to. You know, when you press the button, it says really? that it may have been stolen. It doesn't say that they don't admit. Uh, they can have where do you go, where do you go for go. that? I got an email. Yeah. From really? Huh. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get nothing. Huh? I get checked. And, and I'll tell you what, I'm not worried about it because the fucking shit happened in May. And I have seen no issue in any of my accounts. So, I mean, I went on there as well and said it may have affected it. So, you the only know. Thing that, the only thing you have to worry about is not so much your accounts. It's that if they have name, address, phone number, social security number, they could open up their own accounts in your name. True. But that's, I have, that's a thing. Would be good. But <laughs> May, and that that problem it happened in May, and they're first telling us not. Hey, so, they tried to open up one in my my name. It would be a plus. It, it usually comes back doesn't have a pot to piss in. <laughs> uh, well, He's got I, a bona vita though. Actually, I watch I watch that stuff almost every day. Credit Karma, which I owe to you, Rob. Uh, I look at it, and once a week at minimum to see if there's been any changes or anybody has opened up an account or anything like that. It's free. It's easy. Uh, and uh, I like seeing the numbers. Yep. That's what I did. Uh, I signed up for Credit Karma yeah. with this. I, I figured it bent in May. And, you know, Credit Karma seemed like a good idea. And I remembered, I, I didn't remember you, Rob, but I remember it out here. So, Darren, you get the credit for it. So yeah. I, I got about I got about seven grand because of Credit Karma. Really? How'd you do that? Because I went and I looked. There's a thing. I think I said I told this on here. Mm -hmm. I I was looking at Credit Karma one day, and uh, lo and behold, it I saw this button that says, "Does your state owe you money?" So I, I said, "Okay, let scam. me check." No. So scam. I went and I checked, and I checked New York, and mm -hmm. lo and behold. There was some stock from Cablevision, which I had owned back in like up until like 1987, and I had completely forgotten about it. And I, I wound up they they sent me a check. I got about eight thousand dollars, seven to eight thousand dollars somewhere oh, in that. I always range. thought that was some advertising scam to get you to sign. No, up. nothing. No, I went right to New York State. They contacted me immediately. I had checks within a month. Wow. Now, what is Perfect this again? You go, to credit, you go to Credit Karma, and they say, check here if you want to see if you have any. Yeah, the, the, there was a little, it's it's the app on my phone. Hmm. There On the app, there's a button there that says, does, you know, are, do you have any, you know, missing funds or lost funds? So you would check California, you would check New York, 
I checked Virginia, nothing in Virginia. I don't know. They don't owe me a damn thing. But New York, uh, I saw my name and they had my middle initial wrong. And I knew it was real because somehow in my initial with with this Cablevision stock I owned, I had forgotten about it. And when Cablevision went private, they put an account together. They moved this stuff to this brokerage account and they put my they put s as my middle initial which it's not so i was like oh shit that is the that is the stock and then i i they said I, it says they owed me they owed me six hundred dollars and i was like okay i'll take six hundred dollars and then a couple of weeks later i get a check for six thousand dollars and i was like what the hell is this i called them and they said yeah we found more i was like keep it coming <laughs> Then I got a check for twenty nine cents or something like that, so it's clean. Oh, okay. I got cleaned out now. Okay, so I'm good. But I, I perfect timing. I'm buying furniture. I'm moving. I'm doing all this stuff, and lo and behold, I get all this money coming to me. It was I awesome. never heard about Credit Karma? Yeah, it's a it's an app. It's a free app. Oh, it is a free. Oh, it's an app. And mm-hmm. Yeah, you could, you, you could go online too if you and like. And what do you do? Yeah. You put your name in there and. Yeah, hey, you put your info in there, and it checks your you, it, Equifax, TransUnion, uh, credit. It, and it I don't, shows you where your credit is. And I don't know why stuff goes up or down. Uh, you know, uh, so I look. It says, okay, your credit card use is four percent, and so it went up six points. But I paid off my car. Uh, bad. That's a bad. Month ago, and and it went down twenty. Down. That's right. That's bad. So, you know, all of a sudden, I, yeah. So, you know. You don't want to pay off your loans. If you're worried about the score, you don't want to pay off the loans too score, fast. But, uh, you know, but the thing is, uh, you know, I, I'm saying to myself, okay, I got less debt. I, the car's paid off and the thing goes down. Yeah, it'll go right back. Stitches. I, yeah, eventually. And, and it takes them a few months to catch up. So let's say you charge something big. All right. They get that right away. And I usually pay it off as soon as I see the charge online, then I pay it. And uh, But I still, it, it rides there for about three months before they go back, oh, you're, it's now zero. You know? It's when they report it. It yeah. gets reported to the companies. Hmm. So. Yeah, here's credit card. Yeah, it's a good app. Mm-hmm. And what do you it's a good do? app. Yeah, a good app. and you just get it. And how much information about yourself do you have to put in there? A little uh, bit, but it's, it's safe. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no problem with it. I I signed up for it and I've been using it. I like it. I mean, is there a lot of information you have to put in, or is it just uh, probably your social security number? Yeah, it's you know you you put, you're giving them your information. Oh well, I but I don't know who they are. They yeah, are credit karma. Yeah, credit karma. They're it's all got to be good. It's the internet. Yeah. Hey, I've been using it since Rob told me about it, and I like it. My first name is Bennett. Hey, I know it for me. Lots of money, so I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I saw something on there that uh, shouldn't have been there, and I and I pushed the dispute button, and they took it off. Really? Yeah. Oh, I haven't. I, I had, had an apartment building that I owned in Vallejo, and uh, I had sold it, and the Vallejo said that I owed thirty uh, something dollars for um, uh, for utilities. I said, wait a minute. I, I, I sold that building three months before this bill. And uh, so uh, I disputed it and they took it off. Wow. Wow. Cool. cool. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see here. It was there for a long time and I didn't even know about it. So uh, it, it raised my score 35 points when they took it off. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Okay. Don't miss a beat. Turn on push notifications. Uh, Get notifications, okay. And now it would like to send you notifications, allow. Oh, now I have to put in a whole bunch more information? Put it in, it's okay. Huh? It's okay, it really is. It really is? Well, it's not letting me, oh, there we go. Um, hey, if Phil and I and Rob are using it, it must be okay. Must be. <laughs> you, know, you know what I do, to tell you the truth? Uh, I um, um, use... Um, um, uh, I use certain email addresses that I have for stuff where I'm afraid that spam is going to going to happen. Okay. Um, and then you can't remember which yes. if you use which email address, right? Well, and- no, no, but no, I, I, for instance, on certain things, 
I, I, I use one email. I, all my stuff for like things where I need a certain amount of security, in my opinion, okay, uh, mm-hmm. I, I use uh, some other account. And I, so I always know when that comes up that it's like a business kind of thing or it's, uh, you know, something from Vanguard or whatever, you know. I'd love to get a Gmail account that's spam at gmail.com. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> So Credit Karma doesn't spam you, so don't worry about it. In fact, I just did a, I did a search in my email, and basically uh, the emails I get saying, hey, new information, what is added to your credit report? Would you like to view the change? That kind of thing. So yeah. you don't get spam from them, which is a good thing. Yeah, they just alert you if there's a change or something's going on. You know what, uh, I, you know what I hate these days be. is that when I have to put in my birthday, I have to go back so far for the year. I know. <laughs> I got a new credit card. Yeah, I applied for an airline mile credit card. I got a new credit card. So Credit Karma uh, sends me a thing. Is this really you? Right. You yeah, know, I'll do that. I'll check that. They only, you, it's worth it. It's a good. It's a good. It's free. <laughs> they, only, they only want the last four digits of your social security. Hmm. I don't remember if I had to give them all or just the last four. No, just the last four. Oh, that's pretty good. So they don't want your whole. Uh, Oh, well, it's been a while since I... And this I goes signed. directly into the Equifax files, right? <laughs> yeah. No, actually, it's... Uh, 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 what's the... Sony. And and then they send it over to North Korea. Confirm <laughs> <laughs> your really identity. Trouble. The credit file indicates you've had a mortgage loan open around February 2012. What? I haven't. Oh, it says none of the above. Okay. Oh, oh it, it, it's, it's, yeah. it's okay. checking you. It's what is checking. totally monthly payment for the previously referenced account? Well, it would be none of the above. Okay. Uh, confirm your idea. Your credit file indicates that you may have a bank card open in or around December 1998. Who is the credit provider for this account? Cubella's Citigroup? No. <laughs> Discover. I never had a Discover card. Fifth, third, Bank Corp. None of the above. Okay, you probably say they don't have my identity. Your credit file indicates you have an auto loan lease opened around September 2015. None of the above. I didn't open up. A, they probably looking at the wrong guy. What is yeah, the no, that on purpose? Kind of out there. <laughs> They do that on purpose. Do they yeah. really? Let me see. Now it's spinning around. Yeah. Create a pin to boost your security. One. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the way I have it that I can just put my finger on it. You know. It's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got your ID. Yeah. New iPhone. You just your your Pretty soon you're gonna just stare at it. That's how the you're gonna, get, yeah. you're gonna get the new phone, Phil. Uh, I'm not sure. The I was thinking, you know, for a couple hundred dollars, if I'm going to get a new phone for a couple hundred dollars more, I would get the X. Uh, why? Because it's supposed to be pretty. <laughs> Want to use? And you actually have that. You okay. see the you know, glass back yeah. that they used to have on like the five or the four. Yeah. So in other uh, words, so in back. other words, most of, most of the stuff was none of the above. Yeah. Okay. None of the above. Right. And uh, it put me right through. All Good. Of them. Yeah. So they they, yeah. they sent me a bunch of. They knew it was you. Yeah. Yes. Well, they put you through right after they sent the deck. Well, I have excellent credit at TransUnion and mm-hmm. excellent credit at Equifax. So it's over 740 it's or something, right? It's at 850. Right? 830, 830, well, excuse me, 832 for Equifax, 830 for TransUnion. Is that good? That's that almost right. as high as it goes. Really? Yeah, that is almost as high as it goes. And I'm out of work. <laughs> Wait till I run out of money. Watch this thing drop. <laughs> Well, it sounds like your business manager is doing a good job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I get for Pays your there. bills on time. Well, he does pay my bills on time. Better. Yeah. It's better better for what I pay him. Uh, t- t- total Man, open, it's the pay for what are you doing over there? Total open balances. What does that mean? Oh, credit cards, 368. Oh, that's probably just current credit card current, balances. Yeah. Now, on you can also facts, look at your also, credit report. It's also a 368. What? You can look at your credit report, either TransUnion or Equifax, yeah. and you can look at all the individual ones, when they were open, and, yep. and so forth. But the, the, the best thing about it is that if you see something that's out of kilter, uh, you can fix it, and you can look at it regularly. Yeah. 
Well, it's, 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 it's an interesting thing. I've never, you know, heard well, of it. Well, I would now never look, heard of it if it wasn't for Rob. Now look for the button that says, uh, uh, if, if the money. state owes your money. Uh, Where is that button? Well, yeah. Along the bottom. Along the bottom? I didn't have anything like that. Along the bottom, all it says is home accounts and offers. Uh, well, I'm trying to remember. I'm, I don't have my iPhone. Well, well, with well, offers, recommendations, get scores, view accounts. Um, uh, let me go to home. Uh, no, nah, I don't see it. Maybe, you know, sometimes they just send you something, like an email. No, or, this was in the app. Well, it may, maybe... Uh, uh, one new account, total, total, your total decreased, uh, uh, credit card use went down, okay. view accounts. No, I, I, I don't have any of that stuff. So uh, I use a touch uh, ID uh, and it gets me in there, but I don't want that. Okay. So I'm 830 and 832. That's about as high as you can go. 850 is the top, I guess. I think so, yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Fuck all y'all. What's your, what's your credit rating? Home what's home your credit home. rating, Skit Phil? What's your credit huh? rate? What's yours? 804. 804. Well, it's still up there. Yeah. He's going to kill you for that. So anybody else putting uh, this on your uh, iPhone now? No. It looks, like right. that, it looks like that was what Jeff was doing. but uh, No, I was doing something else, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I sound like a commercial now for Credit Karma. Credit mm. Karma. I... I Huh? I found something very interesting the other day. Yeah. So my my son is in a uh, a guy who's a um, he designs stuff. Yeah. So he's an architect. Near architect. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. anyway, all of a sudden, a guy gets arrested for being a fake guy. He really wasn't a licensed uh, architect. Wow. And apparently the police came after him and and brought him in and made him pay back all the money that he took from people under the his fake uh, company name. Wow. So he, the company name was Vandalay. <laughs> Art, Art Vandalay? Vandalay? Vandalay Industries. Right. <laughs> Alex, I found it. If you go in Credit Karma... Oh, wait a minute. Hold, on. hold on one second. I, just for your knowledge, um, a number of derogatory remarks, zero. How many payments have I missed? Zero. Okay. You have a stellar payment history of 100%. All right. right. So, so if you go to accounts in the, the middle button and scroll all the way down, you'll see unclaimed money is the bottom thing. Unclaimed. There it is. There it is. State governments That's are what holding I did. on to. Okay, so I go over there, and I search for unclaimed money. Well, and then I have to re-enter my name. I don't remember. I mean, but I know there'll be no more unclaimed money for where me. Was, where, where was the unclaimed money? Uh, Under accounts, you go. You just scroll all the way down to the bottom. Okay, accounts, and then scroll. Oh, state governments are holding on to more than forty billion of unclaimed money. See. Yep. If some of it's yours, that's what I did. Name. Okay, I'll put the name. Well, it has me on. It has. We found a match. It says oh, Bennett, that's Schwar good. Bennett Schwarzman at East Houston, apartment five G. Okay, so you from that long, long ago. This is the ships coming. Wouldn't this be cool? California city optional. Oh, there isn't anything in California, so let me try New York. Wait a minute. Uh, yep. Well, I'll say, yep, this is mine because it is my address. Awesome. We'll take you to New York State site to learn how to claim your money. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's exactly what happened to me. I kept saying, ah, it's going to be pennies. I got thousands. Phil's going to get zero. Florida. Any state you lived in, any state yeah. You've, you've, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Alex will be saying, free so jackpot, jackpot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Little I, bells be ringing. I, I get nothing. <laughs> nice I found money. Hold, hold on a second. I'm putting my name in. I got nothing. Oh, New York didn't turn up Nothing. I hope Matter of fact, they wanted me to pay them. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So I just put that in. It's a long time since you were in New York. I put York, that right? in. Yeah, 1972. Search. 
or so, three. You put on a while, fellow. Wait a minute, yeah. search for lost money. Wait a minute, I just put in my name. S C H Z. Oops. Schwarzman and uh, Bennett. B E N N E T T. And search. Search for lost money. A result in zero matches list below. I don't know what that's about. In was this ca- in New York? Yeah, but it said, that's interesting. It said they found some. To try Texas? No, no they the, gave his 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 uh, New York City address. Oh, yeah. Did you claim a, your, your money? The no, Blasio I'll do it later. It. You got it. Uh, back to results. Uh, search results. Uh, we found a match. Yeah. And they found the match. Amounts due for undelivered goods and services. Source, Office of uh, State Controller. Then you wow. know, I then put in the name. And, uh, yep, this is mine. Go to New York site. And then I... Um, I would call them if they... If it, it, tell them that you're, you know, that you have a discrepancy. To, you might be able to get it with a little more information in there. Well, no, they no. I'm let me put in my last name here again. S C H W A R. Why was I blessed with such a long fucking first last right. name, and not particularly an easy first one? Why don't you just change it? I try uh, uh, Alex Bennett. That sounds like a good idea. <laughs> How'd you come up with that one? Okay, search. Now I tell it to search. No items found. Yeah, that's weird. Well, anyway, it's worth a phone call. I haven't tomorrow. made any. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I would. Could be. I'd call the state. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll be on. Uh, how long will that take me? About three hours. No, they were actually. I had to call them. Yeah. And yeah. I got through pretty quickly because I didn't believe it. Who Who do you call <laughs> at the state? Um. You If you know what, I got. Where did I what get did it? What did the thing say in the in the app? Uh. It, it said something. Well, I could go online. Hey, Robert, it looks like we found some money in New York. Sweet. Here are some instructions to help you get your money. And then uh, this is an email I got. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, some info put together about the claim process before you check out. Uh, and then then you can go ahead to New York's website, and there's a, a link that they provide in the email. And it's uh, this is the unclaimed site. Let me. I'll put it in the chat here. Uh, Wouldn't well, it be under the Secretary of State you have to go through? That's the uh, that's the uh, unclaimed. Uh, they they just reduced the number by about seven thousand dollars. There's three hundred nine thousand one hundred no three hundred nine million one hundred fifty six thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars uh, unclaimed funds returned in 2017. And none of it is mine. None of it's yours. <laughs> I'm going online to Credit Karma. Yeah, yeah you could do that too. And let, let's see here. Where would I go? I have a few recommendations. Because a friend of mine had uh, money. He didn't thought he would buy it. He had to go through uh, through the state of California. I think it was the Secretary of State's office. Hmm. You know, to call the office down there. And he found out he had uh, uh, 250 bucks. He goes, Send it. Of course. It's yours. Because any more money, send it. Absolutely. Send what ain't mine. Yeah. But it does, I, I, I don't know where to go on this to find that uh, money you might be owed. Resources. Uh, credit simulator. Da, 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 da. No, it's not there. Uh, tax. No, it's not there. My overview, dashboard, my recommendations. I have no idea. Take a look at um, take a look in the chat. There's the, the the state controller, New York controller's office website. You could go there and get the phone number. And I'm telling yeah. you, I, I got through pretty easily. Really? And and did it, yeah. say, uh, it said how much money you were owed when you went to Equifax so, and then went over to their site? Uh, yeah, I, I no, actually, that's not true. It, it only gave me a piece of it to start with, uh-huh. and that's why I was like, 
when they the, the first check was for like 650 bucks and i thought okay that's not bad i'll take it and i i still was the whole time thinking this is a hoax this is a fake this isn't <laughs> real yeah, and then I and I called the st- I called the state and the state said yeah okay uh, we need some more information and I I sent in the you know I, it's it's all pretty much done electronically um, and then I was supposed to send this form to them and I never got to do it and the check showed up hmm. so I called them back and I said I, I was supposed to send you this form but you guys already sent me the check oh okay well, well then don't un- worry about it unclaimed, cool I don't have to worry about it. money. Okay, here we go. And and then all of a sudden a check from New York State shows up, and it's like $6,700. And I'm like, wait a minute. Now what's going on here? Am I going to be on the – did I do something here that's – this has to be something wrong here because I never get found money. You know, I'm usually getting the email saying send $6,700 because you didn't pay enough. About eight or so years ago, I get a postcard in the mail. Postcard says – uh, you may be part of this class action suit uh-huh, and yeah. for, for buying a carpet pad and price fixing or something. <clears throat> so I fill it out. I send it in. About six months ago, I get a check for $3,500. Yeah, very nice. I called the bank to make sure it wasn't a scam. Because right, sometimes you get a check and you deposit it and you end up losing money. Right. Well, it was legit. I took it to my bank. I deposited it. It was $3,500. Hey, now you can buy yourself that iPhone. Well, yeah. I, I bought other crap. but <laughs> You're worse than me, Phil. Yeah. It's burning the hole in his pocket. Yeah, you're worse than me. Oh, yeah. I, I know. No, I, I, just, again, I just ordered the camera. Again. I want to buy a, a radio board. It's, uh, it's $2,000. I am like, uh, I want it so bad. Yeah. It's you know it's a real radio console. Yeah, it's not, yeah you talked uh, about. Uh, I want it so bad. Uh, I think it's Audio Arts. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I well, want it so bad. Well, I went over there to the state, and it still says nothing. You know. Yeah. So, middle initial G. Hold on a second. Maybe that'll help it. Uh, New New York City. Let's search. Does it want the middle initial or the middle name? Let's see here. Because you might get better luck by putting in Gordon. Uh, it's a mi- middle initial. All uh. right. Okay. But no, nothing. Nothing. Ooh, that's weird. I would still call them and say, I. Something came up and. Uh, something came up and, and your website's, you know, got a discrepancy. Is there a way to, um, to collab, you know, to. Verify. To verify that. Yeah. Oh, well. Ha, <laughs> ha, because you never know. I'll, I'll go play with it tomorrow. Why waste uh, the audience's time right now with me greedily trying to collect a penny out of the... That the always minute. increases listenership. I, I collected this. I collected a few months ago from the state. Really? New York Did state. you? Yeah, that's why, I'm, that's why I just logged on. I was about ready to go to sleep, and I heard you talking about getting to the something from the state of New York. I, Uncollected I, funds. A friend of mine suggested I check one of those, you know, uh, missing money or whatever websites, and it hooked me over. To yeah. Thomas DiNapoli, the state comptroller's office here in the yep. state, state of New York. Yep. And there were two outstanding checks for things that I never got. One from my bank, which I find out later they actually said uh, for services not rendered, that something I was supposed to have gotten credit for, I didn't get credit for. I don't know what it was. And the other one was from a uh, insurance company that I actually had stock in. And I know I sold the stock like six years ago and I must have missed a payment or something or something I checked that was sent to me because I was like 95 bucks I'm like whoa you know it's like whoa I thought I'd be you know the other one the the the, the bank one was only 25 bucks I mean you know so that's why I figured they were both going to be like it's so they, better than a they, they went through very simply well, it's and better than what happened to me weeks. that better than what happened to me today my Sirius XM stock went down 17 cents oh Uh-oh. Which for, oh, I wonder. I wonder why it was only worth twenty cents. Why did something happen over its Sirius XM? I don't know about. Yeah, yeah. yeah Joel Osteen wanted a raise. Oh my God, Joel Osteen's getting killed. Yeah, I saw that idiot on TV. It looked like he needed a facelift three times over. I thought he already had one. 
Yeah, I think you better do this. Look that. Anybody better. see? Anybody see Hillary today? Oh, I did. Um, has she gotten no. a facelift? She no. looks good. I'll tell you, she looks well. She's well rested. But is it? A <laughs> yeah, fa- but it, I now. think it's a facelift. <laughs> it's gaffer's tape. They take gaffer's tape so. and they uh, pull it she back. She got a book out, Phil. You should get her book, Phil. Oh, she's okay. blaming no, her boss on Bernie. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I'm going to run out and get it. Matter of fact, I'm getting the book. Uh, I'm going to a lecture at the Commonwealth Club. Uh, I, is it John Souza? He was the um, photographer for Obama's White House for the God, last I wish you'd turn your mic down a little bit, Phil. I always have to turn you down every time you start talking. Uh, well, uh, all right. Uh, I'll turn it down. Yeah. Let me find where it is. I just like oh, <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> Which volume control? Do All right, you is that better? Yeah, it's a little better. Okay, so uh, yeah, this guy uh, Souza, he was uh, Obama's uh, White House photographer. So he's he's given a lecture, and he it comes with a book. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. How much do you pay for these lectures? Yeah. Well, when you get the with the book, this one's fifty five bucks. If you're a member. if you're a member, you get you pay fifty five bucks for the book. <laughs> Or you pay well, 55 bucks 50 to see the lecture the, and you get the book. You, read it yeah. <laughs> you go to the lecture, you get the book, uh, and and uh, I uh, and I got the one with the meet and greet. Uh, but so, you don't like Obama. We, I'm afraid to ask if you ask him a question. I, I, you know, hey, Guy was a White House photographer. I think that was pretty cool. And, That's they, true, yeah. and I'd like to hear some of the stories and, and so forth. Just uh, interesting stuff. Well, you know, I mean, I take pictures of a lot of things I don't like, you know. <laughs> I, I, but I think this guy liked Obama. <laughs> he couldn't stand him. Yeah, a good job. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if if they made me White House photographer, I'd take good pictures of Obama too. You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of my favorite people I got to record back in the days when we were doing uh, audio for uh, you know for for various um, uh, interview programs and stuff. One of our one of my favorite clients was uh, was the guy that worked with uh, with William F. Buckley, and you know I wasn't that wasn't my uh, area of uh, of interest, but uh, though we did something, we did what was called the Southern Farmers Almanac. It was basically all uh, Wick Wick Allison, I think it was his name, was like the was like the chairman, was the guy like the number number two man uh, at at Buckley's uh, publishing company. And he got Barry Farber to read this stuff in his That's North Carolina true. accent. Hmm. And uh, as Alex knows, Farber lived right around the corner, pretty much from uh, Cinema Sound, from where I worked. Is he still so, alive? I, you know, I really, I saw him a couple of years ago on the street, on uh, out out in front of his place. He looked, he looked. Yeah, I mean, he's very, he's he really didn't look very healthy, but. You know, Boy, he, man, I, I don't know. I should, I should probably find out. Because he, right he was an interesting guy, definitely. You know, and uh, uh, but he, he did a bunch of stuff. He did a lot of stuff for another big uh, uh, right wing group, Newsmax. You know, uh, the guy yeah. from Newsmax. Uh, we did stuff for them. Uh, what my boss used to love to say is, because we also did stuff he's for, still alive. for environmental he's groups. Still, it, it, ready, stuff. ready for this? He's still alive. How old do you think he is? Barry. Oh, he's got to be in his 80s. 87. 87? Oh, Barry? Oh, man, God. Yeah. I mean, you know, there was one of those guys. I, I, I liked I liked him despite his politics. <laughs> sort of like you, Phil. No. Nah. <laughs> well, uh, no, I mean, you know, just, you know. I think yeah, it was, it was yeah, Barry, things, uh, but he, Barry Gray, who I worked with, used to have a great line about Barry Farber, who well, he, he, you could call him his competition, but Barry Gray was such a, a vital force in New York City that yeah. nobody could be his competition. Hold on a second. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Take away your sneeze button. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, my boss used to say about working for, the, for left-wing groups or right-wing groups, she said, my politics are left-wing, but the right-wing groups pay quicker. <laughs> they pay on time. Yeah. Sometimes and it took a little longer to get it from the environmental groups, and probably because they didn't have the money. Anyway, Barry <laughs> Gray used to say about Barry Farber, that Barry Farber says he speaks 27 languages fluently. Next, yeah. English. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's funny. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
Exactly. The one thing oh, I remember God. about Barry Farber, and he's still alive, so, well, let him sue me. I, I don't think he, he even remembers this. Hold on a second. At his age, he can't remember anything. Anyway, he had, a, he had certain predilections, didn't he, John? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 uh, we definitely... He, he, and we saw them firsthand. He showed up on Midnight Blue years ago. We One saw them firsthand. He was very much into S and M. Oh yeah, yeah. I was uh, certainly supported. You know, folks that were putting together what he called the project and a few other things, which were all sort of theatrical S and M ish type things. Yeah, lots of yeah. But I have a feeling that he was participating in that particular predilection. With one of the cast members, could, yeah. I, could, I could believe. Have, could have probably done that, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't ask. Yeah. But anyway, he's 87 years old. Somehow he survived all that. <laughs> hey, he kept working for years. At, uh, I think up to Oh, a few he was years working ago. from home, like you like you know, set up sort of like what you're doing yeah. uh, for a group out in Boston that uh, was a, a group of... Uh, it was a network of conservative uh, AM talk stations, and he would they would they would call him up, and he would be basically do it as a remote. Wow. They would set it up in Boston. I mean, this was back in we're talking like yeah. in like two thousand or something was the last he's time. Still, uh, he's still working on the internet. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, well, <laughs> are the, we all? The guy does have quite a a, 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 a take on languages. You know, I, I, it says here he started learning uh, Latin in the ninth grade. Uh, he was reading a Mandarin Chinese learning book. Uh, and uh, then, uh, uh, yeah, as I say, he, next he went English. On a cruise to practice his, uh, and Mike would like this, Serbo Croatian uh, uh, language. Uh, so. Yeah. Serbian, all no. of which, All of which never served him in American radio. <laughs> we were kind of Sign hoping he call me a Mandarin. Twenty-five foreign languages. Yeah, next <laughs> English. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I, I said twenty-seven, but I was close. Yeah, pretty um, cool. Give or take, give or take a few. Well, by the way, I should, I, I should, I should, I have two things to mention. Uh, mm -hmm. One of which is, um, you know, people die, and you. Uh, and, and you kind of feel sorry because somehow they had a little bit to do with your life, okay? Yeah. But just because they touched you by a performance or whatever, you guys won't see this picture because I'm putting it just up on the show here. But uh, this guy died today. Uh, and sure, you if you're watching, anybody watching on TV out there uh, in our citizen panel? Watching the uh, feed, no. a Facebook feed. Oh, this guy from uh, right, from uh, uh, what's uh, what the the Sopranos. The Sopranos, the Sopranos oh, yeah. Also, 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 Goodfellas. Yeah. Goodfellas. Yeah, Goodfellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of those guys on Sopranos came out of Goodfellas. Well, I mean, where you were, they, they were the casting pool for gangsters for crying out yeah. loud. And, and Frank uh, Frank uh, died uh, today. Uh, the last couple of days. Uh, he uh, died on the operating table. He was having heart. Uh, you can relate to this, Jeff. He was having a heart operation, and he died on the table. So wow. Frank Vincent, to gone. But, yeah. uh, you know, uh, nobody rubbed him out. That's good, you know. So. <laughs> um, he, he was the guy then. He says, go home and get your shine box. Wow. Yeah, then, yeah, that's right. He says, that's hey, right. they shot that scene that where that place is. Three blocks from my house, it was it was Spartan's restaurant, but now it changed. Yeah, and I remember when they shot a lot of Goodfellas, but they shot that scene. Yeah, in Spartan's, but they changed. Now it changed to something else. Yeah, they were shooting that. They were all over around here. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that, I remember when they were doing that. Was that Goodfellas or was yeah, Goodfellas Spartan's? Yeah. It was that scene is Spartan's restaurant. One of my aunts actually had a party there. It was like a little. It was like an old time bar, Alex, when you walked in. Yeah. And then in the back, like they had rooms, like it's almost like I think he was like also. I, I may be I wrong. I, I should look look him up on uh, on IMDb, but I do think he was also in uh, cas uh, um, Casino. Casino. I think what? so. What? Yeah. yeah. Let me see here. What that was a good movie. He's in. Frank. I'm sure, he was in a bunch of things like that. that he had the like right look, definitely. In that, and Frank and Vincent. That. Here we go. Uh, ba -ba -ba. You know, yeah, let me see here. Uh, you know what's amazing? 
This this is IMDb. How good they are. Mm -hmm. What's the date today? Thirteenth. Thirteenth. He died today. He, it says, it it says yeah. died and the date. Yeah, it's. it's uh, uh, that's how good they are. And yeah, Wiki does that too. Wikipedia Sopranos, does that. Yeah. Uh, what are they? They're even let you get cold. He's not even in the ground yet. They got him up there. <laughs> exactly. Right. Uh, I'm trying to see if there was anything that. You know, he did a lot of movies. Witness of the pictures. Mob. Uh, hey, Alex, was he in the other squad? He, he was in Copland. He was in Copland. What? Oh, Raging Bull. Was he Bull. in uh, Raging Bull? Bull? Let me see. He was? He was in Casino. Okay. He was in about that, yeah. Um, he was in Goodfellas. So then, he was in Raging Bull, too. And he was he in was. Raging Bull. He played so yeah, Salvi. Salvi. Yeah. So, uh... But there's there's a guy who got typecast. You, you were talking <laughs> the other day about people that gained weight for for parts. Yeah. Uh, in Raging Bull, uh, how, how many pounds uh, was it? De Niro or uh, yeah, forty five pounds or something like yeah, that. Yeah, gained forty five fifty pounds for that part. Uh, you know, to pay to play the guy after the fight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. A later Damata. Yeah. Yeah. We lost a whole bunch of people on our feed uh, for Facebook, and I think it, I mean we have lost the signal there for a short time. Uh -huh. But we've been we're running okay. It looks like I, everything I see here looks like we're doing fine. So uh, you know, I don't know what that's about, but uh, no, but, I I still see your Facebook thing going I know, out. I know, but it, it it I had like about ten fifteen people. And now I only got six. I saw it go down to two. So somewhere that some people lost a signal could be just something going out of Facebook, you know, yeah. yep. who drives me nuts. But they're back. We've got a signal out tonight. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yes, hmm? Excuse me. I've got phlegm in my throat. Do I sound as hoarse as I did last night? No, you sound better. Really? You sound a lot better. I'm feeling yep. better. Now I got a bad tooth. You know, it's one thing or another. Is it one of the implant tubes? It, no, it's it's an old it's one that's loose, been loose for a long time, and every now and then it gets a little infected. And she says, "I've got one more time that you'll clear up the infection, and then we're going to pull it." And we yeah, well, it. yeah, I understand you're using a water pick now. Well, that that's not going to change anything. No, no, but uh, I love my water pick. Oh, I you love no. Here's why I love the water pick. And I have yeah. one of the portable ones, not one okay. of the ones where you got to have the tank somewhere tank. or whatever. Yeah. This yeah, is tank. like a portable one. You put water in it through a little hole, and then you do your teeth. And the thing I love about the water pick is to see how much garbage can come out of my teeth. Exactly. It's almost a game. It's almost it's almost catharsis you know i'm sitting there and, go, and then a big chunk will come out and i'm like look at that look at that i did a big chunk <laughs> you know i did a yeah, big you can't chunk. believe you left all that stuff in there before the water pick yeah but that that portable water pick is is gold so far as really? i'm concerned yeah i told you about the water pick you said you didn't want well, one i didn't, didn't want one for it. i didn't want one because of the damn tank thing it's right. clumsy but uh, but it this thing is just it's it's like a thing with a you put your thing on the top your little nozzle thing you fill it with water you turn it on because it's powered by uh, electricity uh, yeah. and uh, you just go through your mouth on it and it gives you about oh about a minute's worth of spray and you get all that garbage out of there. I know I I, I love that that's. Uh... And you know what? My gums improved since I started using them. I imagine they have. The whole idea, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I've had this loose tooth, and she checked it the last time, and she said, well, you know, that may have to go. Let's see what the thing is. She says, oh, it's just a little infected. She said, but we just checked the x-rays. You haven't lost any bone there in five years since we took a uh, 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 thing five years ago. So apparently, you know, I've stopped the, the erosion. Oh, and that spread part, but it's still it gets infected and it, it may have to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get one of those it, they give you a little false tooth when you go to get a uh, implant mm -hmm. they for 750 they have to make up a uh, a, uh, a, a a a denture right. to put in there to keep the teeth from closing up and so on while your mouth heals right well i liked it so much that at a certain point i went like this one's all the way in the back of my mouth. If I didn't even have a tooth there, you wouldn't notice it, okay? But I just don't like not feeling something there. 
But I, I, I said to her, could I just get one of those and use that for a while? And if I at some point decide I want the implant, we can do it. And she said, yeah, you can get one of those. She says, I don't know how long they'll last, but they should last a couple of years. And then you got to get another one. But it just snaps right in. And after, during the day, you don't even notice it. You know? Yeah, I had to do a root canal today, so she put a tent in. I think that's something. Like, got a root canal? Yeah, I had to do a root canal in my today? In the back. I was in pain before. Yeah, I have to take my medicine now. How are your teeth, by the way, you, with the braces and everything? Straight yet? The bottoms are good. The tops still need work. I mean, it's never going to get done. It's ridiculous. Well, I'm all right with it. Though. Pretty bad off a couple of years ago. So yeah, actually, they're straight. Well, 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 give us yeah. a smile. They need a little more right time now, right now, let me blow you up here. Give, yeah. give, give us a smile. Yeah. I, I got my braces back in, so I can't really see. Is, see, much better. Yeah, yeah. much it better. Is better right? Is he in the center of the camera? He, he, oh no, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, I gotta get my medicine. Good thing you said that, Alex. Yeah, I think my uh, oh, okay. the bottoms are looking much better, huh? Huh? The yeah, bottoms right are looking much better. Yeah. yeah. The bottoms are actually straight. I can't believe it. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah, he, his teeth were in bad shape. I, matter of fact, I had once told him that if uh, he doesn't do something about it, uh, it could lead to heart disease. I don't think that's the truth. It is. The, it is. No, no, uh, no. You're you're mixing that up with just bad teeth, like decay oh. and things gum like disease. that. Gum disease. Yeah, gum oh, disease. You don't think heart. that uh, stuff can uh, can get into no, the into no, the gum? No, I mean, if, if he was br if, if, if he's brushing his teeth fine, that's a matter of like, that's probably congenital. He did, you don't get teeth like that just mm -hmm. because you didn't take care of your teeth. You know, well, if, you, if you get punched in high school, yeah. who's that? Yeah. yeah. But no, your teeth are looking better. The front ones yeah. still look a little craggy, but I'm you know. popping, popping pills. These make me tired. What are they? Amoxicillin. Oh, amoxicillin. Yeah, oh, I have. It's just I, because of an infection. The, the doctor know. gave me a prescription for that in case this other thing, the steroids, don't make my cold go away. But they seem to be making it go away. But now I may oh, need to take it for an infected tooth. You know. <laughs> anyway. Yes, I'll be med medicing myself girlfriend girlfriend's going away next week she's gone from sunday yeah. to thursday in china oh nice. party it out stay a little extra and, and and sightsee and uh nah she's been there you know she's gone to hong kong a lot for these things and yeah. you know there's not, there's not a lot to see in hong kong you know if you've been there before yeah. yeah, big uh, modern city. Wait a minute, Bailey Boob. Who is this? I have no idea who it is, and I can't put them on because. But I can call them back. Let's see who it is. Let's see who who who. Uh, oh, accept. Oh, there we go. Okay, Bailey accept. Boob. I never heard of this person, Bailey Boob. It's not a joke. But no, I'm I, I'm bringing you back, Bailey. If you just uh, if you just called. Um, I just accepted you. There you are. Is it Bailey? Are you there? Hello? Mm -hmm. are, are you there? Uh -oh. Hey. Like bad Eye Bob. Bad Eye Bob. A Bad Eye Bob. Yeah. I'm wait, wait a minute. Am I reading this wrong? Skype thing out for the first time on my Android. I don't oh, have it. It is Bad Eye Bob. From here, it looked Beatty yeah. Bobby or something Completely like blind that. Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Yeah. We go back to the group. Are you? Are you? Are you so, uh, so Bob, you're calling. I don't need my, uh, if I if I had my earbuds in, then I could hear you better without putting it up to the phone. So I was just testing this on my Android. Yeah. Uh, could you turn on your camera? Well, you can't see the camera, can you? We can. Oh. Okay. <laughs> turn on the camera. Let's see if we can see you on your Android. Because we can now. You okay. know, it's been a long time now. We can now get iPads and Androids and uh, all the portable mobile Did devices. He move to like uh, uh, Texas or something? No, uh, no that, back? I don't think so. Did, uh, my camera's I, not on. No. How do you know nope. what you're hitting on your screen? He you can see, see close. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I don't know. You know, there's a deaf performer, a deaf singer on America's Got Talent. And I suddenly started asking a bunch of questions, like girl, huh? Is that the girl? Is that the young huh? girl? Is that the young girl? Oh, me... Somebody's got there. Oh, somebody's got there. Uh, uh, hey, Bob, do you have your audio have your feed? Hold on a second. Let me turn this down. Maybe I'll kill the feedback. Do you... it's talk now, Phil? 
Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, I guess you did kill it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, no, but she says she's blind. Uh, not blind, but that she's yeah. uh, she's deaf. And uh, she uh, she has a person on the stage uh, who is doing signing her and stuff. And she's a singer. Does okay. she feel the music through her feet? Was she that says the one she, that th that's from? what she said. Okay, but I want to know something else. Let's say there's a song you've heard. Yeah. A, a, a song. And you want to sing that song. Does she read music in order to be able to sing the songs? Yeah, how could she tell if she's in key or not? Oh, how could she tell if it's a good song or not? Yeah, no. how does she know uh, unless she wasn't born? If she wasn't born deaf, then she could she could know what music is. She wasn't born deaf. Yeah. But but you're right. I mean, how does she know what the key is? If she right. goes into one key, and I think she was singing an original composition, so that that would account for her knowing even the music. still. Where do you know where to start? And if you can't hear your own voice, if you're deaf, you can't even I'm hear your thinking, own voice. I'm in your thinking. Head. I'm she thinking. She said she does it through the vibrations or something. Uh, I think I I, I honestly good. believe she's uh, faking Connor? it, faking it, faking it a little bit. I'm sure she's, I would think she so. has maybe she is technically deaf, but there's still you know, yeah. yes, she's hearing uh, impaired. Yes, Patrick. I've, I've known two completely deaf people in my life, and they've been able to, they can speak, you know, with, with um, some ability, mm -hmm. um, and you have to read their lips so you can understand what they're saying, but there is sound that can come out of them, they're, you know, yeah. and, and they, if it can come out, they can feel and hear inside their own yeah, but you hear a deaf person speak. It's like they can't really. Well, no, hear. no, no. But this woman, she yeah. she went a long time in her life without being deaf, so yeah. she doesn't have that deaf person sound to her voice when you like when they talk like this, yeah. because you make your ears plug up. You can do it. You know, she doesn't yeah. sound like Marley Maitland, as an example. Yeah. Okay, uh, and and that is because she never spoke that way. You know. Uh, Never well, I'll to. tell you what, I had a, 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 a my uncle's ex-wife, who I knew when she was in her 20s and 30s, and today, well, she lives in San Francisco, in fact, uh, today, or I should say the last time I saw her in the 90s, she was, uh, uh, she was probably in her late 60s, early 70s, and she had gone mostly deaf, and she had that affect with the... But she didn't have that when she was young, so oh, really? she developed it really? from not being. Yeah. Well, then maybe she this woman isn't deaf and she's hear. just conning Trump everybody. Trump knows how to do that. I think she's reporter. conning. Well, no, Trump <laughs> is, is not con. deaf and dumb. He's just dumb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, blind Bob, you haven't been able to put on the uh, uh, Cam. your camera. Bob. Uh, Are you there, Bob? Either. Is he still there? I, uh, it, it, he, he doesn't look like he's hung up. But well, uh, maybe he can't find the phone. He put it down, and then he, he couldn't find the phone. Yeah, don't make jokes like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> not nice, Phil. <laughs> thank, God, God, thank God you're not going to be here for the next two nights. I can start getting callers <laughs> again. You know, everybody. It was amazing how many people who normally are very quiet on this show came alive. Jeff was a ball of fun when yeah. you weren't here. I mean, everybody feels they can have time to talk. You know, if, I've, if I've done my commitment, I'll call in less. I mean, no, you know. No, no, uh, no, no, Phil. You know I like you in spite of the fact that you're an asshole. Well, thank you very much. You know, my, my intention was to call so that you always had callers and you had some controversy and people would, you know, would talk. But, you know, I, that was when yeah. you were getting two, three callers. Now you're getting full houses and you, know, you just don't need me as much. Uh, or, uh, oh. No, we, we need you because you, you, you make it all interesting, Phil. Let's be right. honest. I don't want to I don't want to ruin your. Okay, well, you know, I, I could become a Democrat next. and, and oh, that the, would really Well, well it up. looks like your boy Trump, and I didn't get around to this, is becoming one. Yeah. Uh, he's like, he and Chuck Schumer about ready to suck each other's dicks. Yeah. I mean, hey, you know. Hey, Nancy is, uh, you know, is, is blowing them kisses. They had no, tonight. Nancy's blowing them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 he's finally, I think, decided he's not going to get along with the Republicans, so why not get along with the Democrats? 
He just wants to get shit done. He wants to get shit done, and they're willing to help him if it's what it takes. And he says he's going to back off on uh, uh, the Dreamers Act. DACA. DACA. He's going to back off a bit on that. If he, if the Democrats have, uh, vote for heightened border security, which there's nothing wrong with that, you know, yeah, right? You know, so hey, listen, yeah. I've run out of time here, and Jack will be getting on late because I'm I'm just running out of time. I want to thank Rob Alfano. I want to thank Jeff Stein. I want to thank Patrick. I want to thank John Rockwell. I want to thank Anthony. I want to thank Mike, and I want to thank Phil Meyer. And by the way, Patrick, you can call again tomorrow night because. Phil isn't going to be here. No free. And, 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 and uh, a few other people out there can call tomorrow night because it's f- two nights in a row. We get it. Yeah. You know. And by the way, I forgot to mention this next week on this program. I don't know what day we're going to run it. Uh, we'll have a very interesting guest by Skype. Uh, his name is Penn Gillette. So oh, that's uh, mm-hmm. next week right here. And also I've been in contact with Rob Schneider, who we're going to talk to as well, who's a very really nice. nice guy. Anyway. Hey, listen, I'll see you all again tomorrow night. Why don't you give everybody a big wave goodbye, okay? There's the citizen panel, ladies and gentlemen. And there they go. Let me hang on. on, on, Oh, they beat me to it, damn it. They hung up on me before I could hang up on them. Uh, Listen, uh, uh, Jack and Amy are next with The Intersection, followed by Connections. Who knows if they'll have a new show tonight. They've been part of that whole big storm down in Florida and uh, haven't been able to do a show for two nights in a row. So we'll see if they're going to be on tonight. In the meantime, hey, you know, wait a while, Mike, before you start calling. I haven't even signed off here, and already you're trying to sign on to the next show. God, one day I will just drop dead here on the show, and I'll hang up just before I die, and he'll he'll start calling immediately. Anyway, uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime... If you see her, of course, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.